Welcome back. Today we're looking at Psyker Penances. Like always, let's start from easiest to hardest. And remember, I got all of these with my friends. So these are pretty well controlled examples of how to get these penances. Not even close requires you to brain burst a poxhound mid pounce. This sounds difficult, but it's one of the few penances you can do naturally. If you need help with this, the best thing I can tell you is to brain burst every poxhound you see until you get it. Cliffhanger used to be much more difficult, but now you just need to kill seven enemies in two seconds by knocking them off a ledge. I got this penance completely by accident. I was using the charged attack on the void strike staff and I just suddenly completed the penance. I can tell you how to farm this penance though, which is by going to Chasm Logistratum and specifically this bridge. Wait for a horde and use either your special ability or your regular push. You should be able to get this pretty easily. Warp Battery is the final easy penance for the Psyker class. All you need to do is keep your warp charges at full charge for 300 seconds. This means you need this box to have a 4 in it for 300 seconds. It doesn't need to be consecutive, so if you lose it for a little bit, don't worry about it. I got this penance on Magistrati Oubliette, and all I did was use Brain Burst until I got it. Pretty simple, nothing crazy here. From this point forward, the penances increase in difficulty by a lot. I highly recommend getting a group of friends together, otherwise it'll be torture trying to get these penances. Luck is also heavily involved with some of these. First up is Malleus Monstronum. Deal 90% of damage to a monstrosity on heresy threat or higher with nothing but your Brain Burst ability. This isn't half naturally, as you can probably tell. Luckily, all you need is an Ogre and Shield player. Now, if you didn't already know this, you want to kill a Demon Host for this penance. The Demon Host can give everyone corruption, but it can only give you about 50% before it caps out. Once the Demon Host is locked onto the Ogryn, the rest is up to you to Brain Burst the Demon Host. This is extremely easy if you have a group, but like I said before, this isn't happening with a lobby full of randoms. Second, I actually don't know which one is harder so the final two are just kind of tied. Pick and mix requires you to kill five specials or elite enemies within 12 seconds using brain burst on heresy threat or higher. This one is just luck. It took my mod Heathen one try and it took me three tries because two of the matches didn't spawn five or more specials or elites that I could pop in one brain burst. For this penance you'll need a few things. First, Kinetic Barrage at level 30. This allows you to use your special ability which will dispel most of your peril but also charges your brain burst 25% faster and uses 50% less peril all at the same time. Second, you're going to want to use gunners and shotgunners. All the other elites will need more than one brain burst or will run away once they get close, like the trapper. Lastly, I recommend maps that start with large areas in the beginning. Chasm Logistratum, Hab Draco, Excise Vault, Spireside 13. These are all maps I recommend using since we got a lot of opportunities right off the bat. Veterans will also help a lot with their special ability which highlights enemies for you. Last but certainly not least, going out with a bang. Kill three elites on Malice Threat or higher using Heralds of the Warp, otherwise known as the Suicide Bomb. Yes, for this penance, you need to kill yourself. In game, of course. I'll be honest, I got this out of pure luck. I used Smelter Complex on Damnation difficulty with high intensity. Ideally, you'll want an Ogryn or two with shields to make a barrier between you and the enemy, but I had three meat shields instead. You're gonna wanna damage some of the specials first before you blow up. I highly recommend using Maulers, Ragers, if you can get them close enough, Shotgunners. And once you feel like you're ready, kill yourself. In game, of course. Like I always say, if you need help with these, join my Discord. We got plenty of people who will help you out. If this video helped you, like the video, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, share the video. Yeah, that's all I got. See you later.